Once you've set up your booking widget to allow customers to make more than one booking in a single transaction, this is a potential flow that they could see. I'm going to start by selecting Maths Tutoring as the first service I would like to book and select a date and time from the available list. I will then answer this booking question and enter my personal details. Once I've done that, I can either confirm the booking or add another one to my transaction. This time I'm going to book English tutoring and select a date and time from the available list. I can then leave a note and answer the booking question again. The maths tutoring service is set up so that I pay for the service up front. However, for English, I'm only required to pay a 50% deposit. Finally, I would also like to book a French session and so I select add another booking and choose the date and time. I then also have the opportunity to leave a note and answer the question again. I'm now happy with the three bookings and so I will go ahead and confirm and pay. And you can see the price here encompasses the amount that I'm required to pay at the time of booking.